friends, today I was shaving with Rich. It's brought to you with, uh, well you can't read it, but this is the Porosso Single Edge Cypress and Vetiver. Uh, a Maggard Synthetic. Uh, Captain's Choice uh, Bowl. And today is a Johan Engstrom, uh, what is this, 6 8 or, uh, 716 something like that it's a good sized uh, uh, straight and I'm gonna be trying something interesting here in a moment I uh, transferred the Parasso into a soap pump and I'm finding that or found anyway originally that just one pump uh, from these things makes it real convenient makes it uh, makes one pretty good dose of, of lather so that's what we're doing today the brush has been rinsed and just a quick couple tosses here and it's it's doing its business I'm gonna sit for also hadn't been getting as much love as it intended and this morning I, when I tried first to squirt it out it had a nice plug in that spout so I fired a salvo into the sink there I actually didn't have much water I just put a little bit more in there they're flying out there like a BB oh dang it I splashed myself It's a pretty well behaved ladder and I like the way it smells. Um, and I've got a vetiver, fresh vetiver, uh, well, it's fine, it's fresh vetiver. And then I don't know if I could probably just pair it with Perezzo Green, that'd be just as good. I've got that right handy, so maybe that's what we'll finish up with. It's going to turn cold here today. I don't know why I habitually look over my shoulder and look out the window when I talk about outside, but I do. It's supposed to, it's been a beautiful couple few days here. We've had sunshine and blue sky and there's a nice steep cold front coming through when fall has finally decided to arrive. So this morning, I'm gonna have to go out and put the hard top on the Viata, on the Miata. I have a it's a convertible but I have the fiberglass top that goes on and that's best in the winter because it has a little bit more insulation keeps it warmer in there and it's easier to lock the car I don't lock the car generally when I'm running a convertible top because I've had one cut when somebody wanted to get in wasn't this car it was another I had a, earlier on in my driving career that would have been the mid 70s there was a plethora of pretty good used old cars I had a big honking 1972 Oldsmobile a Delta 88 convertible it was a land yacht that the top would come down on and it had a it was green and had a kind of a pale green top which was hard to kind of hard to get I was parked over on the campus of Ohio State and somebody wanted in they wanted in real bad so they cut the top to get in and it took some time for me to get to get that top replaced I'm sure it paid for it but and we had to wait and get to get the materials it had a glass or window and was, oh. you can probably hear that that's because this is a pretty hollow blade and uh, it's been more than two days since I shaved last. I 
Okay. If you haven't seen my previous video, I started out with a pretty not satisfactory blade and it tugged and pulled and irritated my whiskers a bit. I didn't have anywhere to go so I just didn't shave for a couple days till everything calmed back down. So I got a nice satisfying shave ahead of me today and I got a lot of whiskers to cut off. Yeah, I miss that old car though. It was big. Has a lot of cars in that era. Or and pretty fast actually. It had uh, just a putting anything in spectacular just with. 350 V8 engine in it. And it ate up the miles. Had it for a while and drove it all over the place. I eventually sold it. Bought something else, but I don't remember what it was. I must not have had it long because it didn't leave a as big a memory marks on me as this one did. So that's why I don't lock my car. I put the top on this Miata myself. Uh, I don't. I think next time I'm gonna hire it out. I, It was kind of a chore. I didn't get it on completely straight. So it looks a little lumpy, but it seals up fine. So you can get speed and sealing up fine. That's why I'm a little late. It's 11 o'clock here, and I'm just now rolling out the rack. I had a of a rough night last night as I had the CPAP on. I got up in the middle of the night and got back to bed and then woke up because I was, felt like I was suffocating and it turns out that I had forgotten to turn it back on when I got back in bed so I was restricting my breathing. I had a plastic cup or that mask on it. I wear a full mask. Uh, so important safety tip to you guys with the uh, the CPAP club make sure you always turn the machine back on when you get up to pee at night uh, it makes for a restless night if you don't so you'll be struggling I was puzzled why I was having trouble breathing and I said good grief what's happened to me I'm dying or something and then I don't know why I looked down but the green light was on instead of the white light I was, oh man, I forgot to turn the thing on. It was fine after that. By then it was four o'clock in the morning. And, uh, and that was pretty much gone. Well, let's get in here. And Boy, that's satisfying to hear that. making a pretty good racket. I don't have very many extra, but I think this is my only one. I have quite a few Swedish blades. They're kind of tough. 
tough to hone because they're so hard. Boy, they keep an edge good once you get them there. Not up to honing yet, but this is one that was in a box and had been honed pretty good before. Let's well, see, it's still a little road rash I got from the last shave. It's still a little irritated. I really tore myself up with that. passes. We uh, I don't know what it is about that. These are my problem spots right here. I think it's because they grow and kind of bristling out in this direction. That's not this. I'm good here. It's right there. I'm not going to chase no babies today. than the cats and they've already been there been here. or they don't fit to lay in the sink anymore they still like to drink out of these sinks no meow at me and want me to get their little sippies out of it or play in it Guild. I do a little, little scything and got myself excellently. Well, that ends today's shave. Yeah, that's a nice one. Um, So, although they were in here, they didn't entirely chase the Murphys away. I'll use the one of the not so good towels. Look at that. That's one to be proud of. You can cut yourself, cut yourself right over the jugular. And, uh, or is it cardioid on this side? I don't know. Anyway, that was that's a, kind of one of the things I was worried about when I returned to open blades. I, I got myself good. Um, is that I perceive open blade shaving to be a perishable skill, and I want to uh, not lose what technique I had. what skill I had before this all business with my hands started. This may require a septic pencil. Well, let me apply the tourniquet. Seep. It's trying to clot up, so I think I'll be okay. But how's that? That's going to be on the wall of shame this afternoon. We'll finish up with the Parasso, uh, just the Parasso Green.
I like the way it smells. And uh, that's about it for today. I'm gonna something new new that I was going to try today. Uh, talking myself up a little bit. That's very comfortable and nice. Keeps me dry. This is a shave brush that I uh, don't use much because it's a little too floppy for me. And I found a little bowl, covered bowl in the uh, in my collections. That uh, just a little. This is a kind of a, a, a stew pot model of a Japanese stew pot, but it's just real tiny. And uh, I got some uh, clubman powder in there, and I dust myself with that little brush. That's just the first time I've used. It. Oh, look at that! Look at that go. Uh, we will uh, see you the next time. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.